very quick video. Um, I'm just preparing my pudding for this evening and I have got a brand new apple and I've taken a knife around the edge with the advice of some of the lovely people from our Facebook group and um, hopefully my apple won't explode. So I've cored it and I stuffed it with two points worth of currants and some cinnamon and um, two points of currants was t uh, 10 grams actually and in here I've got about a tablespoon of oats maybe less, a teaspoon of cinnamon and a sachet of butter buds. Now not everyone likes butter buds but I think they're a great way to get some kind of buttery flavour into your cooking and baking without spending a whole lot extra on points. So I'm just going to add a tiny splash of milk, not a lot, give it a stir and that's going to go on top like so. Let's finish that off, it's a bit tricky one-handed. I'll show you in a second. So there she is prepared, looking a bit messy, but I've used um, oats on top of a baked apple before and it's really, really uh, yummy. So that will go in for about 30 minutes in a preheated oven when I get home this evening. And hopefully it won't explode. Well, it worked. The lady that suggested putting a line around the apple it worked pretty well. <laughs> so there she is, my beautiful baked apple. And I prepared a little dollop of um, fat-free cork and I flavoured it with the new flavoured mocha skinny syrups I've got. And it's, um, I've tasted it, it tastes really nice. So it's going to dish that up, one second. So I've dished it up and scraped out the dish, the um, bit of the apple that did uh, seep out and it looks so sticky and yummy and beautiful. It's very hot. I'm gonna be eating that any second. Well, as soon as it cools off. So, just two points for the raisins inside and the rest is all no count. Yummy.